Hello mate and welcome to Puzzle Combat Where you match three pieces, find yourself a hero with some superpowers And destroy the enemy, make as many alliances as you can and win the game <laughs> Y'all let me introduce myself as Foxtrot I am a reckless thrill seeker Yeehaw! I am part of the Savage Crew family Savage Crew heroes have a 10% chance to trigger the Wild Heist bonus effect after using their special skills. My special skills are so unique that you want me on your team. I'm telling you girls, you want me on your team. I deal 275% damage to the target and nearly nearby enemies. <laughs> deal 50 additional... Now darn you dogs! I'm introducing myself over here. Additional damage against the armor. The target and nearby enemies received 264 damage over four turns. I'm, yeah, you got to put me on your Rossiter. I am amazing. <laughs> There's nothing even there and they're just going nuts. Can you play that? Buenos dias, puzzle combaters. All right, so you guessed it. We're gonna cover this this naughty haughty foxtrot for the next closer look video. <laughs> so <laughs> finally got a chance to sit down with my friend Sarah and record some more intros. <laughs> that one was really good. I really liked that intro. And her dog started going nuts. <laughs> I had to get up and quiet them. And I don't even know what the heck they were barking at. It was very funny though. She just didn't even miss a beat. Just, <laughs> just kept on going with the intro. It was very good. Oh, she's awesome. Alright, so this hero is a really fun hero. I, I do like her. Uh, there's quite a few of them that are very fun in the game. And she would be one of them. Um, so I've been lucky enough to actually draw Pantera and Grizzly G from the same family. So that's why she read off the family, uh, part of the family bonus here. Because so I was just telling her that she was an event hero. She's like, oh, okay, let's do this one. <laughs> so I like playing them on a team together for war. Uh, sometimes it goes good, sometimes not so much, but it is cool to play all three of them at once because you will get this family bonus that does kick in. This stealing charge is awesome! So if I play all three together, you get the 14 charge stolen from enemies, uh, cause they're all unique heroes. So one Pantera, one Foxtrot, one Grizzly G, if this, if one of them triggers their uh, wild heist, it will steal 14% charge. So that's fantastic. That is one reason why that team does so well together. And it also does attack. So I get an extra 6% attack. And Pantera's got a fairly good attack stat anyway so that just makes it a little bit better with that extra six percent so and foxtrot she is she is one of the best four stars out there and definitely one of the best four star reds there's a lot of good four star reds she is one of them i feel anyway Alrighty, so let's go into her actual hero grading. Alright, so her actual hero grading is an A overall. And as you can kind of decipher from what I've already said, I do agree with Grack's rating on that one. Now, she has a 5 out of 5 for offense and defense. Because uh, her stats are decent. And she does so much with her special that she's going to do a lot of damage as well. So that puts her into the A category as well. Uh, she's only a 4 on War Machines. 
Um, okay, so not as effective as maybe a sniper like Talia, since she, since Foxtrot here is an AoE hitter, but still, nonetheless, uh, she is effective for it. She absolutely is. I do use her on the War Machine quite a bit, especially with all she does. And she's one of the ones where I did finish the special skill off, as you can see, so 10 out of 10 there. To get that 275 damage to target nearby enemies. And she does do additional damage against armor, which is cool. I'd much rather see the armor damage written into the hero special than on the weapons. Way too many weapons have armor damage. So, and then the bleed is just all that more effective with 264 damage over four turns. That's fantastic, especially when you hook it up with one of the master weapons that does bleed as well. So that's really effective. That makes her just all that more handy. Because um, there are a number of master weapons that do bleed. So if uh, none of the red ones do, but uh, there's a green one that's bleed. A couple other ones. So you put them on a green hero that you bring and there you go. You're laughing because it's going to stack on top of the four turns when she hits as well very effective all right so she is a demolitions master of explosives that is the shell shock so the chance to bypass buffs um that i mean that's effective especially if you're against uh counter attackers uh, and really they're Removing buffs also deal 50% of the damage done by a normal attack to the target. Each buff, removed buff adds 15% multiplier to the damage done. If that happens with someone like Coyote that does a defenses up buff, which is harder to get through, and then this, this can be quite effective. So there are circumstances where it's effective for sure. I think some of the other categories are more effective, like the warfighter that does a revive and whatnot, but this certainly is helpful. And she's already got decent stats, so if you wanted to, you could, that's 8, 12 percent, that'd be 16, 20, so 20 percent chance on the buffs there if you wanted to go down the talent grid with her. And I have seen quite a few people put talents on her and I don't blame them. I don't at all. Uh, she seems to be the equivalent of a five-star hero without emblems when she's she's emblemed up. I've seen a couple of them at about 18. Uh, she's quite effective. Quite effective and it makes her quite strong it seems for a four-star. Kind of like Wyatt with emblems. Jeez, it's like a it's like a leveled up five star without emblems. Some of these four stars, once they start getting more of this attack, more of the defenses. I personally would go attack and defense and emphasize what she already does. So I probably head down this side. I get attack in there as much as I can. She's already a good attacking hero. So may as well emphasize that as much as you can. Probably go down this side. And then you got the critical chance bonus right in the middle here. So 2% extra damage when this kicks in. That's all right. That's very good. And then the speed bonus probably is near the bottom. Yeah. So the charge bonus 2%. So that'll up it by approximately a tile and her speed is 50 average. So she's on that break point. The break point is 49. Uh, where it breaks to knock off a tile for for charging them up. Um, so she's already at that 50 plateau. So that that would only put her at 51. Not really effective by any means. Because uh, it would still be... She'd need to get to 58 to be fast. 
And if you did put the speed one in there, she'd be 51. So a seven point speed weapon would make her fast in that case. So I, I don't know if I'd choose the speed myself, but you never, uh, yeah. All right, so let's run through some weapons for her. Now I have, I amazingly enough picked up a tank bane out of my, was it in this account? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sad I'm getting my accounts mixed up. Oh yeah, there it is right there, the tank bane. I picked up these three out of my Weaponsmith 10 the other day. I nearly fainted. What the heck? I couldn't believe it. It was uh, five or six weapons. And three of them happen to be these ones. The Dracula of the tank bane and the Talon. So this isn't quite... These stats aren't quite... Up to snuff, obviously not being leveled, but I can still show it the resistance and then the health. So it's a decent defensive weapon, but I'm using it as a sacrifice weapon. Especially since I was able to pull these other ones, the Vantage and the Checkoff. So nine speed points on this one. This is super for her because she will go all the way to 59 and become fast. So that drops it from 10 tiles to nine, and but it's still five ghosted tiles, which is fine. Five ghosted tiles is nothing to charge your heroes. That's absolutely fabulous. So that just makes her even better. This, yeah, this weapon's a good one for her. All right, the Tigger is only seven speed points and that one lands around 57, which I believe is the last average and 58 is the break point to go fast, I do believe. So this one, not so much, not helpful for her, but this one is, if you don't have a nine speed points. So I suppose in this case, uh, on the talent grid, picking that speed option would put her out of 51 and you add this seven points and it'd be 58 and this would make her functionally faster. So maybe it isn't a bad option to pick speed on the talent grid if you're going to put talents all the way down to, what's that one, 19 on her. That's node 19, I think. So maybe it's not a bad option at all. Now they get thinking about it. And here's 30% critical chance. Awesome for a good offensive hero like her to up the tile damage as well. If you don't have a speed weapon, here's the awful waffle. 31% armor damage. <laughs> Boo. And then dodge, of course, for defense. And she is good defensively. Yeah, like there's some of the higher level players even have her in their defense still and I can't say that I blame them with all the emblems and stuff on her. She's quite effective. She really is. And then another defensive weapon if you need. 19 resistance on that one. And then moss green is just health defense if you need to and then critical chance for the Manchester there. All right, let's run through the master weapon. So again, this is this has my favorite master weapon of, of the flashpoint. <laughs> I can tell you that reminds me of the flash every single time. And then the three stars, the cubic, which is burn. So that's fantastic. She already does bleed. Hey, she may as well burn too. Uh, so that's a good one. Uh, the Falcon Tech is a good defensive weapon at the health per turn of 35 every time. And then you got the five star flashpoint, which is 70 burn damage over two turns. So another good one. She'll burn three. And the other five star is the Levy. That's 30 armor per turn. Um, and that one has a high attack stat, which is fantastic considering she is a good attacking hero as well. So I'm going to take my Grand Heist team out here for a 
for a jaunt here. And uh, let's see. I wonder if I can. If there's any purple tanks? Because it is a yellow stack. Oh my goodness. Keep clicking on the same teams. My bad. Hey, there's a purple tank. All right. So let's see how these guys do. Take this guy. Uh, take this guy. Take this girl. And take this guy. Okay, so. I'm going to switch around. The weapon's there. And he does benefit from a speed weapon as well, if I remember correctly. So let's take these guys out. Let's see what happens here. You know what, though? I don't know. Do I want her? Or I could use... Do, do, do. I could use coyote. Oh, coyote tank and I got coyote on my team. All we're going to be hearing is mariachi music. I use her in events constantly too. I just, she, she is a favorite of mine. Her and Aiko are two of my favorite four stars. That's fun though. That they do make these fun heroes that are just cool to game with, which is nice. I need more yellow tiles. Thank you. Oh, he's gonna steal my charge. Oh, you stupid wolf. Darn you. Okay, well, he didn't steal coyotes, so that's good. Damn, charge messer uppers. Get her, Pantera. Ah, and there's that family bonus. So they just stole, what, 18% charge there? So that bleed doesn't stack, because Grizzly G does bleed too. So I just hit them after Grizzly G hit them. I just hit them again with Foxtrot and it replaced it. It doesn't stack. Which is fine. I mean, either way, it's effective to always have the bleed on them, right? Okay, am I going to set Emma off here? I guess so. I can take the hit. Gotcha. Boom! I really like this team. <laughs> I know sometimes it falls flat on its face, but <laughs> generally speaking, that only happens when I get a garbage board. They are uh, very effective. And as you can see, it's not that strong of a team. Uh, being below 3800 here but I don't it it does the job it really does anybody else got a purple tank if not I think we'll go hit that one that's got Krampus Krampus as a wow that's a lot of yellow oh hey there's a purple tank here what eight trophies um, where's that one with Krampus? Oh, that's not Krampus. Was... Oh, there he is. Alright, so I got a blue to cover, uh, what's his name there anyway? 
Haruto in the middle, so let's try this one with this team. It's effective, yeah, not the strongest team at thirty-seven ninety-nine, and of course having three uh um four star heroes in it, but without emblems on them either, so but these guys are fun. Ah, of course he's got a dodge on Krampus. Why not? Why not have a dodge weapon? Oh my goodness, I don't know <laughs> which tiles to move. Oh, this is not going to be good. Pantera. Yeah, he's a fun hero too, but man, he seems to have really shoddy defenses. Oh, I think I'm gonna go for this side. This has not been good. Not been good at all. See what I mean? Sometimes they flop. Crap board. <laughs> Alright, try this again. That was a better start, certainly, than the last board. Get him, Pantera. Down, oh, damn dodge. Now, see, if he goes off, he's going to throw the status ailments back on my heroes, which is going to suck. So I don't really want to charge him. So I'll try throwing that match. Don't charge him! Dodge, he would already be gone. And that blows. Okay, come on, guys. weapon is this? The bulldozer? Huh, that's the same one I have on Coyote and he doesn't dodge at all, so boo. Uh, maybe Pantera, because he'll 
hold up here. Get him going. Look at the dodging. What is... Yeah. And then they're silenced. Awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that was just downright annoying. That's it, I lose. Wow, that's brutal. <laughs> wow. Holy death by dodge matches. Alright, that's still a very effective team, even if it didn't work out on those ones, but... Holy shit, man, I swear it's 118% dodge on defense. It's not 18% at all, but whatever. I'm sure that annoys people when they attack my team too because I got dodge weapons on mine so all right guys there's a rundown of foxtrot I really enjoy that hero and I really like that team it's very effective and as you can see it was pretty good uh it, with the exception of you know a couple crummy boards on raids and some dodging against team that was much higher 500 power difference so it's uh, that's one of the reasons why I use it in war. It's very effective. So, all right, everyone, take care. <laughs>